let's say we wanted to determine uh, whether these two lines are parallel, intersect, or are skew lines. So we have L1 and L2. Okay. Now, when you're working with two equations like this, first of all, determine whether they are parallel. Okay. So you can do that by just looking at the direction vectors. The position vectors you can ignore. It doesn't really matter what, where they are. Okay, all it matters, all that matters, is whether they are travelling in the same direction or not. So if the direction vectors are precisely the same, then they are definitely parallel lines. Now, they're not precisely the same, but action, in actual fact, one is a multiple of the other. Because two lots of line one's direction vector is the same as line two's direction vector. And so they are parallel. OK? Now, if you want more convincing and to use the method that we're going to be working with uh, in the next couple of videos to look at intersection and skew lines, what you can do is because you're trying to determine whether they intersect, you can put one equation equal to the other. OK, so if you put one equal to the other, then that creates three simultaneous equations. OK, because we're going to have a top row equal to this top row, middle row equal to this middle and bottom equal to that bottom. So we've got two plus five lambda is equal to three plus ten mu. We've got one plus three lambda for the middle row is equal to minus 2 plus 6 mu. And you've got 1 plus um, 6 lambda is equal to 7 plus 12 mu. OK? So what we could do is we're going to just work with two of them. OK? So if we call that equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So we're going to choose two to work with. I'm going to work with 2 and 3, OK? Because what I can see is that if I do equation 3, take away two lots of equation 2, then I'll be able to eliminate the mu's, for example. But subsequently what happens is that we're going to have three, oh sorry, um, 1, take away two lots of 1, so that'd be minus 1. Then we've got 6 lambda, take away two lots of 3 lambda, so the lambdas also cancel. You've got 7, take away 2 lots of minus 2, so that's 11. And 12 mu, take away 2 lots of 6 mu, is 0. And that's what you get left with. So you get left with clearly something that is completely wrong. And that shows you that the two lines must be parallel. OK, in order for you not to uh, come to either a lambda or a mu from just two equations, two of the three equations must mean that they are parallel. So that is a double checking tool.